Hey guys, this is Kevin again with 360RVReviews.com. Say hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. <laughs> Fred's the cameraman. Uh, so we're going to install a, a really simple upgrade. It is a product called a screenshot. Now the screenshot sized per your RV door size. And on the website, uh, actually in the description of the Amazon one too, it tells you what to measure and how to measure for. So essentially you measure the inside full opening from jam to jam inside and you round it up to the nearest uh, number. So mine was like 25 and three quarters. So I had to order a 26 inch screenshot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this today. In, in the package is the instructions, the screenshot tube itself and has the elastic band in it, the cap on this side and you got a rivet, a tiny little screw, two black screws and a silver screw. Some of these are optional. This is optional and this one is optional. So we're not gonna use the rivet or the big screw. So the install on this, I could read you the instructions step by step, but I'm not going to because it is literally that simple. So you take your screenshot like this and you've got this web right here with this hole in it. So in the instructions, it says to feed this through the hole and get, get the strap to come through that hole right there, just like that. So you've assembled the screenshot, believe it or not. So, so it comes over here. We're going to open our screen. Your screen goes open all the way like this and your screenshot goes in and I found it's easier to kind of go in on an angle, but you've got this, these tracks right here. I don't know, can you see these? These little tracks right here and it's got notches in it to fit inside of those tracks. So you basically get it to fall into that track, then you can lower it down and then raise it up. And now it's in the tracks, it's nice and firm. I like the label to be showing, so screenshot. Uh, by the way, you can find this on Amazon. We'll put a link below. So now we're going to install a couple of screws here. I hope you guys can hear me over the car noise. So let's go to my toolkit and we're going to get, grab some screws. Let's check the screw, the screw type. It's RV, so I guarantee it's a square screw. Yeah, the two black screws are square screws. So let's come over to my screw set. Again, my toolkit, nice and organized. So I'm going to need my driver and I'm going to need my screw tip set. So in my screw tip set, Everybody that RVs should always have a number one, I believe, or two. Let's see, does it say on it? Again, I can't, I'll get my wife to confirm that. But anyway, so it's a square drive. Can you see the little tiny square drive? So I'll take out my Phillips tip, save it, put my square drive tip in. And then we come over here to our black screws and we will be installing one black screw right in that channel underneath right here, right there to keep the screenshot from falling down. That's it. See, now it can't lower. So we got one screw there and then we're going to put one screw on this side. I'm going to do it left-handed and hopefully not hurt myself. Okay, one screw there. Now the screenshot is trapped in place. So the other part of the instructions are very simple. We're gonna take that little tiny silver screw, this one, again, these two items here are completely optional. We're gonna just be using, it's a self-tapping Phillips head screw. So we're gonna take out the number, the square tip. I'm gonna go get my Phillips tip back and save my square tip. And then the instructions say to pull the strap out and put it within a half an inch of the, the end of your jam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready. I'm gonna go up in the RV to do this. So get ready with that. So we're gonna pull this out and then we're gonna put it within a half an inch. And I guess you could just use, I mean, that's got some tension on it. You could use that as a guide Okay, yeah, I'm going to use that as a guide. And you want to make sure it's straight across from your, your guy there. So we're going to install this screw right now. Okay, so that's installed. And if you guys were curious, there's plenty of room here when you close the screen. Look, 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 it's working. 
Ta-da! Now I already see that I need to make an adjustment to it. So it needs to be moved a lot closer to here so it'll pull much, much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this, but I'm gonna grab the tab first. I'm gonna unscrew this and I'm just gonna cover the hole I already used. And I'm gonna put it way in here because I want it to pull a little bit better than it was. And I'm gonna screw it in again. I'll screw that in. There we go, okay. So I've got it screwed in all the way and we're gonna give it another test. Let's see how well it pulls. Oh, that is far better. Uh, my arm stopped it from closing, let's see. Pow, okay. Screenshot installed. Let's give it a good test from outside. I'm gonna pretend I'm one of my kids, like this, watch. It's gonna be like this. Dad, can I have a drink? Dad, can I have something? I want to do this and that. And I'm over there at the campfire going, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. And then he walks away, boom, the door shuts automatically. So again, screenshot, it is from LCI screenshot. You'll find the link in the Amazon page below. And uh, excuse me, you'll find a link in our description below to Amazon's where you can purchase this item. So again, super easy install. I don't know, five minutes to install, Fred? Five, definitely. Yeah, easy five minutes. If your tools are properly organized, an easy five minutes. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, Kevin with 360 RV Reviews. Hit uh, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.